the network. Hey man, is there anything that you want to leave the people with, man? Because you have so many good perspectives, and you, like you've already, like I said, you got my mind thinking about quite a few things. Is there anything that you, any keys you want to drop on people, or just where to follow you? Yeah, I mean, uh, both. But I would say, you know, I'm really big on people recognizing the power they have in their hands with this phone, and please just start utilizing it the right way. You know what I'm saying, like really utilize it as a tool to get your stuff out there and then also get out the damn house once you've done it. You know what I'm saying? Like utilize it, <laughs> understand that, you know, use this thing to create opportunities and then bring those opportunities into the real world, you know, and there is no shame whatsoever in, you know, uh, not being that dude or you don't have to put on this show. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're, that it's, un and this is going to go to deaf fears, but hopefully it touches somebody, you know, where you you don't have to put on this act that you're more successful than you are, you know what I mean? Because there's no point in it. You know, you're living a lie at that point. You're not gonna be 100 percent happy. You know, if you're stunned and you're spending money on all this this garbage just to make yourself appear to be more successful, you're hindering your own success at that point. You know what I mean? Like like if you're popping bottles in the club to impress somebody, then that's you know what three four hundred dollars five hundred dollars less you have in your bank account to actually put towards creating something real. You know what I'm saying? Like like really think about things. In, in real terms, we have to get over this whole thing of trying to put it on for people, put on the show for other people. Like it, it makes no sense at the end of the day because you're just going to keep putting yourself in the same position over and over again, you know? And I know it's tough. Like you want to be the dude that gets all the girls. You want to do that doing all these different things, you know? But in due time, if you make smart decisions in due time, that can be you if that is what your goal is at the end of the day, you know? Um, but you have to also just allow yourself to be, you know, humility is okay and, and failure is okay as long as you're learning something from it. And, you know, you don't need to put on this whole show. You know, the people that I respond to when I get DMs and things like that are the people that are real with me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm like, I'm hustling. I'm trying to get do this, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, I got an email the other day from some label. I'm not going to say the name, but it was like, yeah, the biggest independent label in all of New York City. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, why? Why is that even like the first tagline that you would put out there? Like, to impress? You know what I'm saying? Like, what sense yeah. does that make? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, connect with somebody on a human level. Like, be real. It's okay. Like, yo, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm hustling. Stuff you have to do. You have any pointers for me like would you mind taking a second out of your day that is what's going to crack the code you know anybody who is out there putting you know mr millionaire as their you know handle on instagram you know what i'm saying they don't they're not a millionaire it's like bro you look corny like and anybody who is a thatcher is not seriously you know an actual million seriously because your ig handle is mr millionaire whatever the hell it is you know um, so that's my, that my biggest thing. I think realize we live in an age of, uh, of transparency, man. And you're going to find that people are more likely to connect with you when you're just real about it. Uh, and don't be afraid to collaborate, man. Don't be afraid to bring in people. There's no shame in being, uh, you know, not as good as somebody at something, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no shame in that as long as you, uh, because you trying to overcompensate for that is just going to put you behind when you could just collaborate with somebody who is great at something, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe you're not yeah. the best at putting together like I do. You know, somebody's like a dope editor, not trash video. Yep. I'm, I'm seriously, like, be unafraid. I'm not good at this. Like, can I collaborate with you? Maybe I have something to offer you. We can go, you know, vice versa. If I don't have money to pay you, whatever the case may be. Like, put in that time. Like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with collaborating. Like, that's where you're gonna, you know, get to be where you are. I mean, like in Jay and Dame Dash, like all these different. Like, you're seeing the partnerships, like, the people who are unafraid to like collaborate and put the things together you know what i mean like that's really who is successful you're trying to be too cool to to you know be open to learning something or collaborating with people you just kind of shoot yourself in the foot um but now i've gone on the whole tangent but uh, i mean you can follow me